Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Shaman King episode number 13. Alright, the previous episode, the whole problem with uh, N and Ren, you know, the whole uh, thing that was happening, the fight, it got resolved in the previous episode. We have uh, like communicated properly, we got to know a little secret of N, what his actual power is, his oversoul is and all those stuff and how N himself doubted his own convictions in the end which kind of made him lose uh, so all that happened and now Ren is probably free of the shackles that were binding him from uh, uh, with his family and in the end we see him and his dad kind of you know have a little bit of conversation like I, almost at the end of this uh, episode where like uh, Ren was going back and N came on the dragon and gave him that uh, that sword the thing and that I'm sure that kind of denotes his acceptance of how Ren lives his life you know like that little scene in the end kind of shows that yeah his dad accepted uh, Ren's uh, way of life and he won't you know uh make any more problems uh or bother him with his family's revenge whole revenge thing that was going on in his family he won't bother ren with that so it's good and now ren is like you know free to pursue his own stuff go like you know uh like do the shaman fights uh, interact with his friends all of those stuff and yeah live his own life like it is a good ending so yeah and uh, so let's get started let's see what this episode is about this episode number 13 of shaman king so without further ado let's get started all right so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Mm. <laughs> oh, it's a Shaman King. <laughs> what? Wait, oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> the Tanuki, oh my god. So they're going to cut all relation with everyone after this? What? <laughs> wait, wait, they're just fighting in the tournament. Like, it's, it's that. Oh. True, yeah, yeah, definitely. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh oh. <laughs> he really is sleepy. What the hell is that poster?
What's with his hairstyle? <laughs> so, okay. So, they are not going to be able to meet each other unless and until this fight ends, I'm guessing? I'm sure it's something like that. Because I doubt they're living forever, like... Okay, I was not expecting that. Um, I thought like, you know, that, like, it'll be just like some other fight, like... They would go along with, like, you know, like, um, Anna and all of them will go along with, alongside Yo, and then they will... Do the tournament, someone will win, and all that stuff and they'll go to the finals and stuff i thought it was going to go like that so so by the introduction of this episode they won't be able to come back unless and until they become the shaman king i'm guessing or maybe okay I i'm sure we'll get answers And I'm, I'm sure we're going to meet a lot of new characters after this. Like obviously from the tournaments. You know, new characters, new opponents. Oh, wow. And how? Yeah, all, all shamans. Whoa. <laughs> nah, <then. laughs> mm, he's not a person like that, you know that. <laughs> Oh! Wait, this is Directive Conan's voice. Whoa! Oh my god! It's that guy, isn't it? Who? Oh, yeah, he, it's the same guy. Um, uh, like you know who did with the. Uh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. He knows everyone's name. He knows everything. Oh, whoa, what the? Whoa, 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 what the hell? He has a full army. Yeah, the thing with the balls that happened, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, really? <laughs> oh! What the? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's waving <laughs> hand. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> okay. What's with the tattoos like in the in the airplane? <laughs> oh Three oh no is it going to crash or something oh my god <laughs> oh no oh <laughs> this is even better than crashing, you know? <laughs> You're not... <laughs> what? what? <laughs> he fainted? Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, Ryu is still. They could have used the Oversoul a little late, you know? Like, when they come closer to the. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, conviction. Uh, that's what I was saying, like just before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, okay. <laughs> oh, oh no, his hair again. <laughs> oh my god, I love the fact that his hair gets gets cut each and every episode. <laughs> okay. Oh. Nice. <laughs> what happened to the others? Three months. Damn. Wow, this this I was not expecting this, you know? I thought it was going to be the like the traditional tournament style. But I'm really glad it's something like this is happening. It's quite different than I expected. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, it stopped. Damn. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Billy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Who the? Oh. O okay. Yeah, so... Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Lily Rara. Damn. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Like totem poles? Like Whoa! What the? Oh no! What? Is this some kind of illusion? I think it's some kind of illusion. Yeah, it's illusion. Oh my god. Oh. What? Oh boy. Oh, this guy looks like how a lot. Okay. Five. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah, whoa, what? Wait, what? Maybe his ancestors. Oh no, his voice is also. Oh no.
I think this is a part of the test because Silva is related to this. This, this must be some kind of a test. I'm not sure. Oh my god. I was thinking the the, sh the spirit that was with Silva in the flashback. It looks a lot like how. Yeah. Wait, okay, okay, wait a minute. So she made a mistake. That was not si oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh my god, who the hell? What the hell? Oh, correct. <laughs> oh, <good. What>? <laughs> okay. Unexpectedly. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, boy. What the? Oh. What? Ma. Oh, he, it was him. Temporary form. <coughs> Five grand element. Oh my god. Even so. What the?
Oh, okay, so that Revenge Okay <sighs> I was I was getting vibes that she was going to get killed because the way like you know everyone everything was kind of going so I was not surprised that much when suddenly how came in I was thinking like what's going to happen to her in the end because <coughs> it seemed like it was going to go in that direction and I was not wrong okay so one thing I have to say about this episode it felt a bit rushed I'm not sure you know if, if it's just me or like i had trouble kind of keeping up with so many things happening at the same time like uh like correct me if i'm wrong i think this episode was a bit rushed you know so many things happened and like you know so much information was given and it was happening so quickly that you know like it, like I, I, it took a little bit of time for me to actually like settle down and understand like what's happening after what you know like uh, in the beginning of this episode first of all we get to see the little portion with when they actually uh, say goodbye to their family and friends then we go to the um, airport where we meet how and a little scuffle happens they kind of fight and like up till that like no portion everything was kind of okay like it was like moderately paced then suddenly things started happening so quickly when after the airplane vanishes and the actual um what do you call it uh the test starts and they fall down they go to the nearby uh you know uh, i think library yeah to uh, gather more information and uh like she they get out they meet lily lara they get uh, like you know like a whole like backstory what happened to the uh, what, what was the name of the tribe see see me I forgot you know like about about their tribe and how like you know uh, patch the demon did stuff we get the little uh, flashback stuff happens and then uh like you know then suddenly three three shamans from nowhere come in tries to like you know like tries to mess things up and then they get beaten by Hororo and then we get more information she tells us the actual location of Patch, uh, Patch Village and how comes in and kills her like so many things happens in this uh, matter of 10 minutes not even 10 minutes I think and uh, yeah and i'm not so sure what i I'll, I'll have to check that portion out again like you know everything was happening so quickly i was a bit overwhelmed okay here it is uh the the actual um <clears throat> thing that uh they learned from the library uh, the world is mentioned in a the word is mentioned in a traditional semino okay sem semino semino tribe song oh okay <clears throat> Um, Seminoa, the song of destruction. Armed with knowledge, the messenger runs through the fields and flies through the sky, inviting youths from all lands to a feast. But not a single youth would return home. The messenger's name, Patch, be wary of him. If you are not, you too <coughs> shall be devoured by the demon. Um, Okay, uh, so they're talking about Patch at that moment, and then uh, like Lily Rada comes in. <clears throat> okay, just a sec. Okay, I will not permit anyone to assist in Patch's conspiracy. You've heard the song of destruction, right? Every word of it is the truth. Go home, or I'll kill you. Okay, uh, how pitiable. The dream you chase is a lie made up by the Patch Devils. In case you the... Uh, okay. Okay, and, okay, and the backstory as well, like, 
I was quite overwhelmed at that moment. I barely remember what they explained. Just a sec. Um, when they're seeing the memory 500 years ago, uh, the Patch Tribe has suddenly emerged out of nowhere to tell the world of the existence of the Shaman King and to host the Shaman fight. Uh, we, the Seminoir tribe, were also to participate. However, we were to discover the Patch's path, true aspiration. Uh, having the planet ruled by only the most outstanding shamans. Uh, shaman kingdom to be created. Sooner or later, humans start to, to destroy this planet. So we must eradicate them and make a world made for us alone. Okay, that's true purpose. It's to select the best shamans for the creation of shaman kingdom. Okay, so she says that. Which is obviously very surprising if we did not get to know the next portion of the story where which we get to see in the end just a sec when how comes in mm. okay how comes in you've already fulfilled your role it will be real nuisance if you get in my way oh god <sighs> Okay, uh, I see. So what the boys said was true. But how are you here now? Just who are you? How? The future king? Okay, yes, I was in the Patch Tribe 500 years ago. But that was merely a temporary form for the reincarnation. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> isn't actually... Okay. <coughs> Okay, I understand everything now. Now, one thing I was confused about is like uh, the whole thing with <coughs> shamans actually controlling the world. Okay, so that's something that Lili Rara thought was you know happening as she mistook the Patch tribe with the <coughs> like, you know with uh, How himself. Like How obviously How was born uh, uh, like you know uh, as a Patch tribe member, but as he said in the end, he did that just so that he can get hands on one of the five grand elemental spirits you know uh, uh spirit of fire yeah spirit of fire so that's why he was born as <clears throat> like you know a member of the patch tribe at 500 years ago and like did all of that things that we kind of saw a flashback of and lilara kind of mistook that and thought that okay the patch tribe are the evil ones they are making these kind of new uh like, you know plans to take over the world by using these shamans and shaman the shaman fight that's actually happening is kind of a ceremony for selecting those so shaman like you know those strong shamans for the new world so she mistook that as the ambition of the patch tribe actually that's not what happened the actual thing that happened was that how was the only one who wanted to do that i think you know and lila kind of thought that okay that's not how's plan but actually the tribe's plan which was not true so like in a nutshell it was an actual mistake that Lilara like you know had a misconception she had the misconception of thinking that the patch tribe was actually trying to control the world whereas that's not the actual thing that's happening the actual thing that happened was it is actually how that tried to do that uh, like you know who was born as a patch tribe member so to get his hand on the spirit so yeah, I, I kind of understood in the end. It, it was a bit difficult to understand while I was reacting to it because obviously, like I have to, you know, like, like I was unable to properly understand. Like I was reacting and at the same time trying to find figure out what's happening. And everything was happening so quickly, I was barely even to follow. So okay, um, <clears throat> so that's what happened. All right, I correct me if I'm wrong, you know, but that's what I understood after reading it, reading the portion again and uh, okay yeah that and okay so all right so this episode um first of all one thing i was a bit surprised in the beginning was uh the fact that they had to actually like you know like sever all contact with their friends and family for the amount of time that they're going to be involved with the shaman fight i think so that was i was, I was a bit surprised i was thinking this was going to go the usual tournament route they're going to go to some place 
they will be having tournaments and their family friends will be there cheering for them something like that that's not what's going to happen and another thing i was pleasantly surprised and i really like this uh, like you know format is that <clears throat> this is not some kind of like you know usual tournament that happens like you know like uh, like a ring they're fighting nothing like that uh, obviously i'm sure like something like that will happen in the end you know in the semi finals or the finals but like you know before that <clears throat> before that it's not something like that we get into a kind of a little uh, survival task you know where everyone has been dropped off in a place with which is quite far from the patch village which is their final destination and they have to go there within three months and i really like you know like the fact that it's going in that direction because it will be, I, I think you know it will be kind of uh, not boring but kind of repetitive if they kept doing the whole like you know like <clears throat> the tournament happens they win and again the tournament happens they win and again the tournament happens like if it like went like that it would be a little bit re repetitive and i think that would kind of like you know um, make us bored so i'm really glad that in the middle of it like we obviously have tournament we had tournaments in the beginning that was fun but after that now we have this kind of a little survival exercise or something that's happening which i'm sure we're going to like you know uh, i'm not sure how many days this will go but i'm guessing one or two or three episodes this will kind of continue them trying to find the patch village and actually going there meeting more people all, along the way something like that so i'm quite glad and maybe after that we we'll can get the tournaments so yeah, I'm really glad that this is going in this direction. <clears throat> and also we got to meet how he has a lot of people with him. Okay, uh, the people here. First of all, there's this um, uh, a white clothed person, I think whose face is also covered. Then there's this another person who looks like a rugby player i think i'm not sure it's quite huge there's this another person who has kind of a little instrument with black shades uh, another person with a hat another person who looks like some kind of vampire i don't know <laughs> you know his, his dress kind of reminds me of a vampire and then there's a little guy or girl i'm not so sure who we kind of saw in the uh airplane as well who was talking with uh how and i'm not sure if that's a male or a female but uh you know their voice was was quite cute you know like uh, it was quite a cute voice and then there's these three ladies we kind of saw uh, a lady a blonde lady with twin tails who kind of looks like a you know like a stoic type of character usually does not talk or something and then there's this another orange haired character who looks kind of <clears throat> like you know <clears throat> those type of hot-blooded characters and then there's a blue-haired girl who's like looks like one of those like you know refined type of characters i don't know and then there's this another person with another hat <laughs> weird hat and then there's this guy with oh wait a minute oh those are the bozo members aren't they wait a minute i think so uh, uh, just a sec those are the Bowser members, aren't they? The one with the instruments that I'm seeing in the scene. Just a sec. I forgot their faces, that's why. Yeah, that's the Bowser member. Okay, those two. Okay, the one I said with the instrument, that's one of the Bowser characters. And the other guy, blonde guy, you know? And then there's another person who is also quite big with some tattoos in his stomach. And then there's another person who looks like I don't know, uh, has a kind of a mustache kind of hair, I'm not sure. And then obviously there's the great fire spirit, I think that's what how called him. <clears throat> I wonder, you know, like the, he said something about <clears throat> five spirits. <clears throat> now, I wonder if, you know, Yo is going to get any one of them. That will be interesting, you know, because how already has this great f uh, fire spirit. So maybe you will get something maybe the great water spirit or something who knows that'll be interesting and uh, yeah and uh, we obviously get to see his power we already saw that before like you know he's quite strong and 
then then we get to the next scene where the whole thing with Lily Rara happens and uh, they got to see the uh, past and experience their pain you know all those stuff happens and the misunderstanding kind of gets cleared out as they listen to the story Lilara kind of uh, like you know approves of them and you know I was getting a weird feeling when she was kind of standing you know and talking with her spirits and saying that okay like you know maybe looking at them I'm getting some hope like this line this line made me feel oh my god this lady is probably going to die in the future <sighs> that was a big death flag <laughs> you know and then we get to the next portion not next portion you know when she she's talking just a sec okay they're unexpectedly reliable reliable enough even to be willing to bear our pain we're going to have our hands full okay and here it is <laughs> We need to tell all of the other competitors and there's this small little dash. Seeing that line, I understood something's going to happen. And yep, that's what happened. How came in? You know, how came in suddenly and killed her? Um, I, I obviously I thought that, yeah, she's going to die somewhere in the future. But I was not expecting in this episode only. Like, uh, oh, what the hell? Like, she seemed like a quite a cool character, you know, like a person who, you know, these type of characters who's quite badass type of, uh, has a personality of, you know, a badassery type of a personality. Ugh, but she dies. And another thing that we got to know here is in the end, Hao says that I'll, I'll get revenge against the humans some yeah there you go so i can get my revenge on humans now one thing i remember in the first episode i think they tried to kill him didn't they like, you know when they got this kind of an oracle like an oracle kind of uh, gave the the prophecy that he's going to be a very you know dangerous person or something and they tried to kill him and he escaped or something happened something like that happened i cannot remember it. my memory is kind of hazy because it was something that happened in the first episode i'll go check it out again you know something like that so is that the reason why he says that i'm going to take my revenge on him oh no maybe not you know maybe not because that's something that happened recently but he has been like making this plan for quite a long while because we also saw he was incarnated in 500 years ago you know, she was he was there and he was kind of making his plan from taking for taking revenge on the humans from that day uh, or, or maybe even further uh, uh, like ago uh, a, 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 even a long while ago i'm not sure when he's when from when he's been making this plan to take revenge but it must be something very long ago because from that moment from that uh, his previous reincarnation he collected the fire spirit the great fire spirit so I'm guessing this whole thing of I so I want to get uh, so that I can get my revenge on humans. This thing did not happen recently. This is something that ha must have been happening for quite a while. And he has this kind of a plan to take revenge on the humans for quite a while. I don't know. I think so. Now, another thing I'm a bit curious about in this episode is why does how looks like Silva? Even his voice was same. You know in the uh, flashback and like now that i look at it it's correct like he and silver really looks kind of similar obviously he looks a lot younger because he's a lot younger in this in this form but yeah his especially his like hair and his like you know his his character design is very similar to silva so and that's why everyone kind of uh mistook him for silva when they suddenly saw the no flashback i don't know maybe, maybe there's some kind of a connection there as well some kind of secret which we're probably going to know in the future episodes who knows so yeah so yeah that was it that was my reaction to shaman king episode number 13 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know and check them out and if i've like you know made any mistake or mistaken 
about I'm, I'm mistaken about something uh be sure to correct me down in the comment section as well so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman key so until then goodbye and have a nice day